G'day folks, I'm Swiftjar and I hope you're all doing very well. Hello. Welcome back to the analysis and comparison series. This series is where we explore the history of a track from the Mario Kart series and analyze all the changes it has experienced over the years. As per the title, today we're going to be exploring all the changes made to Boo Lake. Please know for your convenience, you can use the timestamps below to skip to any certain point of the video, even the giveaway at the end. I do however have a very special announcement. That being, we now have memberships available on this channel. I will speak further about all the details at the end of the video. But firstly, thanks very much for the first new member on this channel signing up in the Hall of Fame tier being Ollie Downey. The support is super appreciated. Now, let's get into what you're all waiting for. Let's go ahead and take a dive into Boo Lake. Boo Lake debuted in Mario Kart Super Circuit and is presented as the second track in the Flower Cup. Boo Lake has since been remade in Mario Kart Tour and of course be part of the Booster Course Pass releasing next week. Boo Lake is a haunted themed track. The track takes place upon a pierre floating atop of a murky lake. As you would expect from a haunted themed track, this is home to many boos. In particular, the boos here light up the track by holding lanterns. Boo Lake's background is relatively simple and rather empty. However, in my opinion, this is extremely fitting as it captures the haunted aesthetic perfectly. In the distance, all you'll find is lifeless trees, fog, and what appears to be a haunted mansion. I also find it extremely hilarious that it's called Boo Lake even though there is no lake. Instead, it's just the pit that will have you fall into your undoubted doom. How fitting. The track itself is relatively simple, but it can be quite complicated with all the holes in the pier and all the sharp turns the course presents. The course starts out on a wooden dock, looking straight towards those lifeless trees in the background and of course that haunted mansion. As soon as Lakitu declares the race underway, Drivers head straight before needing to turn right onto boost panels and several jumps crossing a large pit. This really sets the scene and fits in with the overall course atmosphere. This clearly isn't meant to be a walk in the park. Drivers are then forced to take a right sharp turn, taking you into a diagonal path with a very large gap in the middle. Following this, drivers must continue to take more sharp turns before eventually leading to a straight road with many boosts carrying candles lighting the way. Eventually, drivers will meet a wide U-turn to the left and will then be turning back right to where they will meet several bumps prior to crossing the finish line. Boo Lake made its long-awaited return in Mario Kart Tour's 2022 Halloween Tour. The track was completely remade with modern visuals, all whilst almost retaining its original layout, minus a couple of turns being slightly altered or erased, but nothing that I consider detrimental to the original. Not only that, the track now has a decent amount of elevation, much like Snowland from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The most obvious change in Mario Kart Tour's version of Boo Lake is that the bottomless pit has been replaced with an actual lake. I guess after all these years, the Boos decided to stop with their false advertising and decided to put an actual lake in. As you probably know by now, one thing that I love about remake courses is their newly designed starting lines, especially for GBA courses like Boo Lake, which never originally had one. The starting banner is now accompanied by a two wooden posts holding up the Mario Kart sign and illuminated by old lamps. It's really simple, but it fits the haunted aesthetic perfectly. What's most exciting about this new rendition of Boo Lake is that we can now actually drive into an underwater section during the second half of the track. This meant that the original boost holding candles were replaced with fish bones underwater. Lanterns now also illuminate the non-underwater parts of this track and the final straightaway was updated from a few bumps in the road to now contain three ramps. Despite these newly added details, many elements from the original course look to be faithfully recreated. For instance, the haunted mansion seen in the background of the course has been remade for Mario Kart Tour, and even the lifeless trees in the background still kind of look, you know, lifeless. <laughs> Thanks to Nintendo's Way 3 announcement trailer, we now know officially that Boo Lake is set to feature in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It will be the second track in the Rock Cup. The course is largely based on Mario Kart Tour's remake of the track, although this time with greatly enhanced visuals. I mean, just look at the water in this course now. It looks absolutely sensational. Aside from its visuals, not a whole lot has changed in terms of gameplay. The most obvious change is the implementation of anti-gravity into this course. From the footage, it appears that all the slope sections and the entire underwater section will now utilize this tool. As Game Explained pointed out in their video, it could be because the entire pier is now wet. Another change that I really like is that the boosts in this course are officially 3D, compared to their tour renditions which were 2D. Arrow signs have now been added to this course, 
and the ramp's color scheme has been slightly altered to better suit the course. The skybox has also been changed from Tor's cartoony clouds to now feature a more realistic look. Finally, thanks to Redditor Adventurous Path who mentioned me in this post, we can now clearly see that bush cutouts from Piranha Plant Slide are returning and have replaced the barrels from Mario Kart Tour. Great pickup, mate. And that's all the changes that I could spot in Boo Lake. Let me know down in the comments section how you feel about Boo Lake coming to Mario Kart Deluxe. And of course, if I did miss anything. As mentioned at the start of the video, we now have memberships available on this channel. There are currently two separate membership levels, being All Star and Hall of Famers. I am so grateful for everyone's support by just simply watching my videos and membership support will result in continued investment into better quality and more frequent videos. I've also gone ahead and revamped our Discord. It's now called the Swift Cafe. Inside that cafe, we have an analysis channel where we can discuss all of our findings. I'll be sure to reference you in future analysis videos if you're able to identify things that I couldn't. Please remember to like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to be sure you don't miss the other track analysis videos. We also recently hit 5,000 subscribers, which has honestly left me speechless. The giveaways will go live in my community post on the 8th of December. It's my way to give back to you all for supporting me. To be part of the giveaways, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel. You also get a bonus entry as well if you're following on Twitter and you're in the Discord. All the links are in the description below. Until next time, take care and goodbye.